entertain and empower the community. Our number is 870-203-9951. Our email address is klek1025fm at gmail.com. The website address is klekfm.org. Again, thank you for listening. Now back to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. Welcome back to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM with my special guest, Ms. Star Wilson from Hidden Stars. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? All right. So it's been a while since you've been here. Yes. And so we are long overdue for some updates on, <laughs> um, one, how the last group did, you know, what was some of the feedback and... Uh, things that happen with the young ladies and then what's coming up for Hidden Stars? <laughs> okay, well, we just had an, an awesome event at Parker Park where we did an open house slash community event okay. and we gave away free food, free prizes, and um, played different games. Um, and we had a few more ladies to sign up. Um, this summer, Hidden Stars didn't really do anything because most of the girls was, you know, doing summer activities with their family and things of that nature. So we are kicking back off for the fall, 2019-2020. Um, we're excited about what's coming up. We will be doing some, of course, some one-on-one mentoring. Um, we are accepting new mentees, and we will have some activities as far as um, some college prepping, ACT prepping. Um, I want, I plan on taking the girls on a couple of college visits to get them ready for that because some of my girls have gotten older that's still in the program since this Hidden Stars first started. Okay. So I plan on taking them on some college visits and um, doing some ACT prepping as well. So we have a lot of exciting things coming up, That's and I'm excited. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Now, over the summer, even though the girls were kind of scattered and doing their own thing, do they still reach out to you like, Miss Wilson, you know, and kind of share with you what's happening with them? Yeah, well, actually, I stayed in contact with some of the parents, um, and I did talk to some of the girls, and I do follow them on social media okay. to make sure they're <laughs> behaving like young ladies. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I do talk to them via social media, and a lot of times I do keep in touch most of the time with, me with the parents, but I do follow them on social media, and when I see something that is not appropriate, I do be like, like, okay, we, we need to we need to fix that. Okay. That's not that's not how hidden star ladies act. So yeah, I do communicate with them. Yes, ma'am. They need to realize that whatever they do now is going to follow them. Even if they try to delete something, people, yeah. people are quick on the screenshot. <laughs> so, what you said. <laughs> <laughs> we want to definitely make sure they maintain a positive reputation that will, that will follow them for the rest of their life. <laughs> it will. It will. All right. And so, can you give us some insight to some of the top Topics that you will address. Um, you know, of course, we don't want to give away your whole program. Right. But, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but give us some of the other topics. You know, I know on your flyer you list self esteem. Mm -hmm. um, tell us why that one is important. Well, uh, in this day and age, we have so many body shaming. Um, things going on social media. We have so much bullying going on. We have so much. Um, young ladies that think they're supposed to look and act a certain way to get attention and I am against that so that's why we do self-esteem workshops and self-esteem curriculum to show that okay you can be who you are no matter what shape what size what color you still are beautiful you're still a star which is one of my models you're still a star regardless you're shining and um, some other topics I talk about is anti-bullying um, bullying is affect people as even as they get adults and it's something that I don't want any of my girls participating in and I don't want them to feel like they can't tell if someone's bullying them so that's a topic and I'm all about education you know I promote education yes, <laughs> and so I want to talk and get them prepared for college it's never too early to get your children prepared for college oh, um, so I feel like ACT is so important even just teaching them techniques on how to take a standardized test something that I didn't learn until I actually until I got in college so these are things that I want to prepare them for the real world. I want to prepare them, okay, life is not great. It's not all peaches and cream. And I want to prepare them for real life. And I try to prepare them for real life situations. And I do talk about um, safe sex. Mm 
um, talk about being absent. I do, do, these are all things I approach where parents probably not comfortable to talk about. Miss Ebony will talk about them okay. with the with the permission of their parents, of course. That's awesome. So those are some of the topics we do address. That's awesome. I'm glad you brought that up, um, the safe sex and the abstinence, because you know there are some people who want to preach only abstinence, mm-hmm. and I believe in that myself. Unfortunately. That wasn't the path I followed for my life. Right. Um, and because I didn't get the safe part of that conversation, mm-hmm. I made a lot of bad choices. Right. You no, know, I can't blame all my actions on my family and my parents. However, I feel that if I had a good balance of both of the information, I might have made some different choices right. <laughs> in right. my life. So I'm happy that you are equipping these young ladies with a good helping of both sides it starts story. with you know miss Kabila. it starts with the foundation we have to be realistic in this day and time we can't say oh well you can't have sex okay we, we do want that for our teens we don't want them to have sex we do want them to have a future mm-hmm. but if they happen to have it we want them to be safe yes, um so you have to teach both sides of the scale I do, I would prefer you not to do it, but if you do, I want you to be safe and I don't want you to get pregnant and not saying a child will ruin it because I did it. Not saying a child will ruin your future. However, if I can, if if I can avoid you from going through the pain and suffering I went through, why not avoid that? You know, and putting your parents through that. Because realistically, when you're a teen mom, the parents raised a child. Mm -hmm. It's not so much the daughter, it's going to be the parents because... The young man don't have the child full time. It's going to be the young lady. So that's why I try to teach them. I want you to be safe, but I would rather you be abstinence, not practice sex. But however, if you already doing it, I'm going to teach you the proper steps to protect yourself. And I want you to be respected as well. I want you to respect yourself. It's awesome that you're teaching them, um, the, giving them the real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then that the parents are allowing you or appreciative of you and respectful of what you are teaching them. They trust you with their children. Um, but sometimes kids need to hear from another source besides their yes, parents. Yes. And even when it comes to other issues um, in life, like my son, we have conversations about entrepreneurship. Right. But coming from me, it's like, you know, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, hearing certain topics from certain from other people outside of your family circle right it kind of sits with you differently it does it does <laughs> it right? does so, and, um, also during some of your conversations you know college may not be the route for everybody not for everybody so do you um help the girls try to realize okay what are some things you would like to do that's going to help make you money that you like to you know because mm-hmm. everybody needs to have, I don't want to say a hustle. We need to have something. <laughs> we need to do something. Yes. <laughs> uh, to make some money to survive in this world. So. Well, a lot of times um, when we do talk about um, careers, um, I do ask them what they want to do. Okay. And that's really how I approach it. Because I try to get to know all my young ladies. Um, some of them have been with me for several years now. So I pretty much know what they want to do. And so okay. that's how I approach it. If they say I want to be a hairdresser or I want to do welding, um, I approach it in that way but most of my girls do want to go to college I have one that want to be a lawyer Uh, my daughter's in it she wants to be a detective so I do have most of the girls that's currently in the program do want to go to college and pursue careers most of them is law enforcement or something like that so I ask them what they want to do and then I kind of tailor made the program to that with focus on what they because I want to try to get them someone to shadow you know, okay. like if they want to do radio, I would contact you guys and be like, okay, I have a student that wants to get into radio. Okay. So I try to kind of talk to them about and put them on the right path on whatever they say they want to do when they do grow up. That's awesome. Well, hopefully we can help, um, you know, with any other options mm-hmm. um, that you're looking for. Um, we can help make connections with people in the community. And I hope the community really steps up and says, okay, we want to be actively involved in these young ladies' lives. Yes, um, that would be awesome. <laughs> it takes the whole community. We need to get back to that village mentality of where yes, we take care I of do each agree. other. Uh, we look out for each other. We support and uplift each other in mm-hmm. every way possible. That's what makes a better community. Yes, yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. One second, one, two, Mr. Kobe Parker. Kobe Parker from Men on a Mission. Thank you for checking in. Hey, Kobe. Hopefully we get Kobe in here soon. Talk about his organization as well. It's been a while. <laughs> All right, so... Um, on the flyer that you have posted, it says that um, you have Saturday meetings and outings and workshops. So, have 
what Saturdays or is it every Saturday? Tell us, give us a rundown of your Okay, so we meet every other Saturday okay. at the library. Um, and it's it's only like two hours. And most of the time it'd be from like one to three. Okay. Or it's either one to three or three to five. Um, but I always post it on social media. Um, and it, it is open. Like okay. even if you just want to come and bring your girls to drop in and see how we operate, that's fine. Okay. Um, or if you want to come in and, and sign your child up at that time, we could do it that okay. time too. But we meet every other Saturday. Okay. Um, and I chose Saturday because a lot of my parents do work and they are single mommy. So I did choose Saturday and then I work as well. Okay. So <laughs> well, that's why we do every other Saturday. Because I didn't want to bog the parents down with trying to get their children their own during the week when they already work and go to school. So. And I'm sure some of them are in all these different after school activities. Yes, yes. Sports, <laughs> sports band, drama, whatever the case may be. So. Yes. <laughs> Um, after school time is very hectic. It is, it is. Um, and so I know uh, the last time we spoke, you were in one of the schools. Are you still going to be in the school? No, ma'am. I'm, I was in any camp, but okay. I'm no longer in any camp due to my uh, new employment. Okay. Um, I started back in April. Um, so I don't, I'm no longer in the school there, but some of the girls, they did transition into the weekend program and I did make them aware that I was, that I was going to be coming okay. in back into the school and I told them they were a, they wanted, they could attend okay. the weekend. Cause I always started out with weekends anyway. Okay. Um, so I, I told them they could attend and they still can, if they, some of them want to transition over to our weekend program, they can. Okay. Now as the girls age, um, do you foresee, um, just say the 17, 18 year olds. Okay. Um, do you foresee them being like junior mentees to some of the younger ones or under your leadership of course but um know. now the 17 year olds i do foresee that but um i have one girl that graduated out um sometimes they feel like they're too old to be in the program and they don't want to be in it anymore um but if i need help with something like that they do reach out to me if i need them i will say well can you come help me set up or do something like that they will okay. but some of them are working and doing other things um okay. but i think once they get out of high school they kind of want to transition out of hitting stars and it's okay it's okay i like the fact foundation and you know go spread your wings but um they do reach out to me and they do you know if you need if I need help or anything like that they will come back and help the organization all right well then with those young ladies because you don't want to lose them mm -hmm. because again me knowing how I was yes <laughs> um if I had something more to be involved in yeah I might have made some better choices so um, as time permits and your schedule allows do you see yourself maybe developing an extension program for that 1918 and Ev eventually um i think like i have one young lady i told her you know i'm, I'm going to be your mentor for life <laughs> so anything you need well i have two young ladies one is in college in pine bluff and one um just graduated high school last year so I'm, i feel like i'm going to be their mentor for life mm -hmm. and i'm always going to be there um with hidden stars the thing about my program is you never gra really graduate. Um, <laughs> I do get them certificates and things like that, but you're, I'm always going to be involved in your yes. life because um, I feel like even I have have a mentor, and I'm 38 years old, uh, so yes, it's, everybody needs a mentor. Yes. Um, so <laughs> I feel like with Hidden Stars, I, we're forever going to be a family. Awesome. So there's there's really not I don't do like a graduation program because I'm always going to be there. Okay. Um, but I do do something that you know if they want to come back and volunteer or whatever. Um, I'm always open, but I don't really say they ever going to be really transitioned out. I'm always going to be there, okay. and we're always going to be there for them. Alrighty. Now, what if you know some? I know I'm just throwing all these ideas. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> um, some of your older girls, once they get up, you know, up in age, and uh, they feel they're comfortable. So, say those that have gone off to college, um, would you consider starting a um, a junior chapter or another chapter? Yes. Yes, I would. Okay. I, would I would. I would. I would. I would. I think that would be awesome. Because, um, again, like you said, you're their mentor for life, mm -hmm. and I'm over 40. I still need a mentor. Right. <laughs> so you never lose that needing a mentor. Never, and never. I think it will also help the young ladies who have gone through your program to stay active in a way where they're reaching out to other young women. And, and when you have ladies. somebody, I ain't mean to cut you off, but when you have somebody looking up to you, you behave and, and you and yes, you move yeah. different. <laughs> See, like certain things I be want to do and say, I know I can't do it because I know I got these young ladies looking at me and people in the community, so I can't move like that, you know, okay. like the old Ebony. But so you, that does make a difference what you're saying. So I feel like they, if they have something to look forward to and somebody look up to, they'll have a responsibility. And we all about teaching responsibility. All right. Yes. I want to say good morning to Miss Keandria Borders. Um, 
uh, just the crown, Mr. Dwayne Hart. Thank you all for checking in. Hello, hello. Hopefully one day. I'm all about making connections. People always yes. tell me. And I do always reach out to everybody. You know me. I reach <laughs> out when I have something. I send invites. I do. I do. People be busy, but I try to connect with everybody. You know me. I try to connect with everybody. I'm just like a big love bubble. So I try to connect with people. Um, like I said, I have people approach me all the time about doing the male mentoring program. Um, and I try to connect with Mr. Kobe. He's very busy, but I do. I, I do. <laughs> eventually I think I'm gonna have to like we was talking about I'm gonna have to step out and do the mails because I had so many mails in my event this last time oh, wow. and they was like why you won't do a why you won't do a boys program why you won't do it and I'm like oh my god so we I'm do. looking for male mentors if you're interested I would love to hear some ideas and some we partners don't, we don't want to leave our young men out yes because especially with the way society is transitioning yes. They need as much love. They need. Yes, they do. I don't, know if they, I don't want to say more than the young ladies, but just as much. Much. Exactly. Love and support and just yes. that wrap around. We're here for you. Yes. Like, you know, so um, hopefully we can get to I got y'all in mind. <laughs> I got some things in the making. <laughs> okay. Well, we can't wait to hear what's coming down the pipeline. Um, well, hopefully one day we can get you and Keandre and some other mentor groups. Okay. To have like a really um, a fun day. Like, that fun competition, you okay. know. Um, That'll be awesome. Nickelodeon used to do those shows. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we might not have the slime and all that, but yeah, I don't you know. know some I don't of those fun slime. competition kind of. <laughs> And just so the girls, the young girl, young ladies can fellowship, get to know yes, each other. Yes, to get to know each other. And just build up on their friendships and okay. connections and things. So, again, next year, we'll see what's happening. Because I'm trying to... You need to put that together, then. I'm, try, I'm <laughs> trying to start this, I guess you call it, organ, a, a service where I connect people and organizations. Okay. Anyway, so awesome. I'm developing that. And hopefully okay. You know I'm there. <laughs> you know um, I'll be there. And I'm all about the kids. Um, yes, yes. Because I look yes. at... When I was a young person and what I needed so I'm, and I didn't get, I'm trying to be that now for every young person that I come in contact with. And I'm, like, I'm always thinking about how can we just grab a hold and uplift right, the youth of right. our community because they're yeah. going to be our future leaders. Yes, they are. So They are our future, actually. Organizations like yours help them realize who they are now and what mm-hmm. they can be and the potential they possess. And so they can say, okay, I can, I am somebody and I can be somebody great, you know, and you're there to guide them along the way. And you know what else, you know what else that, that kind of really bothers me in the community? I, I would like more parent involvement because if an organization is offering you a free service mm-hmm. um, and all you have to do is come sign your child up, I didn't have programs like this when I was young. I, my grandmother raised me. I was raised up, you know, in foster care. Okay. So I, my, I, my mother or dad were never involved in my life. So I didn't have anybody to be there for me, like a young, fresh face. And if you can have that service as somebody to mentor your daughter or your or your or your son, and have them involved in activities and take some workload off of you, mm-hmm. why not sign them up? And I don't, I really don't really know what the drawback be. If it was my, like, my daughter is very involved in hitting stars. Okay. I'd make her get involved in anything that's free or that costs. I would pay because I didn't have that. I wish I would have. And I probably wouldn't have got pregnant as a teenager. I didn't have anything. I was looking for love in all the wrong places. And to have your child involved in something that's going to teach your young lady how to be a young lady, your young man how to be a young man, I, I, I would I would have been... Oh, Right, the first one in line. Yes, the first one in line. <laughs> and it's free. You yes, know, I'm not charging anything. I don't charge nothing. Everything is paid for. We do fundraisers, but everything's paid for. You, your child don't have to pay for nothing. And I, then I, on top of that, I provide transportation. That's awesome. So, sign your daughter up. All right, so everyone out there listening, you have a daughter. And then what's the age ranges? Um, I Well, I have a lot of people asking me about 11 years old. So, I think I'm going to go down to 11. 11, it depends on the level of maturity, okay. but it's from ages 12 to 17. But if your child is 18 and they're still in high school, then they can't qualify. Okay. And if they're a mature 11 year old, they can sign up too. Okay. <laughs> well, honey, yes. Some of these 11 Some year olds. Some of the 11 year olds mature, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't need to grab them while they're young yeah. <laughs> and kind of readjust that mindset. Like, now, okay. the boys, I will start at age 11. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So, again, please reach out to Miss Ebony Wilson. You can find her on Facebook under Star Wilson. I'll leave her message um or you can call 501 554 
5213. Um, leave a message, text. Can I text this number? Yeah, then? sure. Okay, so text or call this number. Uh, get your young lady signed up. And then also, we're looking. she's looking for a male mentor. Yes. <laughs> So we can start reaching out to these young men. Yes. Because um, you they know, reaching out to me. <laughs> right. And, you know, lately we've been having a little crime, some crime yeah, in our we city. We have. We have. And, you know, some people want to say, okay, it's getting like this, that, and whatever city. But Jonesboro is small compared to some of these other cities. Exactly. And so it seems like a lot because we're smaller. Mm-hmm. However, we, we need to get these boys, you know. Yeah, we do get their minds going a different direction and get them involved in different, more positive activities. Exactly. Hopefully to keep them off the street and keep them yes. away from crime. And yes. I'm not going to go too far down that rabbit hole. <laughs> you know that saying, the uh, idle mind is a devil workshop. That's yeah. why I try to keep my girls busy. And when I do um, launch the males program, right now it's just in the, like, you know, in the molding stage. Okay. I want to find, you know, I have to find me a good board for the males um, because I can I know how to counsel because that's what I do I'm a counselor okay. but I don't know how to teach a man how to be a man mm-hmm. at the end of the day so I want male mentors that's going to be reliable and that's going to be um, able to guide these young men because um, okay. I don't do anything half stepping okay alright <laughs> we're going to put a pin right there take a quick break good morning to um, Mrs. Catherine Chandler Moore and Reverend Greg Oza thank you for checking in we'll be right back with Miss Star Wilson from Hidden Stars um, on Kelly K 102.5 of them don't Can You're listening to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. We'll be right back. We're back with Money Matters. I'm Alfred Edmund Jr. Scam artists routinely pose as tax preparers during tax time, luring victims in by promising large federal tax refunds or refunds that people never dreamed they would do in the first place. Scammers prey on people who don't have a filing requirement, such as low-income individuals or the elderly. They also prey on non-English speakers who may or may not have a filing requirement. Their goal is to dupe you into making claims for fictitious rebates, benefits, or tax credits while charging or even overcharging you for the bad advice. Or worse, they file a false return in your name. You may never know that a refund was ever paid. If you have a filing requirement and are due a refund, scammers get you by promising inflated refunds based on fictitious social security benefits and false claims for education credits, their earned income tax credit, or their American Opportunity Tax Credit, among others. I'm Alfred Edmund Jr. for Money Matters, a product of American Urban Radio Networks. Money Matters is made possible by the Jonesboro Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, a nonprofit organization focused on joy in our sisterhood, power in our voice, and service in our hearts. www.jonesboroalumni.dst.org. Money Matters is brought to you by Bancorp South, offering checking, savings, loans, credit cards, and wealth management. Five locations in Jonesboro to serve you. www.bancorpsouth.com or 870-972-9800. Money Matters is brought to you by the Gears Foundation, a nonprofit organization providing students with assistance in their academic and career pursuits. Gears Foundation on Facebook, Gears underscore Inc. on Instagram, and the Gears Foundation at gmail.com. Help keep Kelly K on the air. We are seeking 100 donors to give at least $20 per month. But we are happy with any gift, large or small. Come by our studio at 1411 Franklin Street in Jonesboro. Call us at 870-277-1080 or visit our website, klekfm.org. Or you can use Cash App, dollar sign K-L-E-K-F-M, or text K-L-E-K-1. Send it to 44321. Support for KLEK is brought to you by the story about when he was stationed overseas. He had an accident in his car and had to have the fender painted. Took it to a body shop. He went to pick it up. The fender didn't match. He told him that I needed to match to be acceptable. He went back a few days and everything matched fine. He took it home. The next day, looked at it. They painted the rest of the side of the car. It didn't match the trunk or the hood. Glenn saying, "Y'all bust our troops." 
The McDaniel Law Firm, 400 South Main Street in Jonesboro, is a firm believer in justice and equality for the minority community. The McDaniel Law Firm has fought for our rights for over 44 years. The McDaniel Law Firm offers legal help for wrongful death, as well as trucking and automobile accidents. Bobby and Brett McDaniel are available for a free consultation at 870-336-4747 or at www.mcdaniellawyers.com. Experience the joy with Bishop Adrian R. Rogers, pastor of Fullness of Joy Church, 2120 Thorn Street, Jonesboro, Arkansas, 72401. Wednesday night, Word and Worship, 7 p.m. Prayer, Thursday night at 7 p.m. Sunday school, 9.30 a.m. Sunday morning worship, 11 o'clock a.m. And our Sunday night live service at 7 p.m. KLEK 102.5 FM salutes small businesses. Small businesses promote local character and success, keeping money in the local economy, local jobs, entrepreneurship, community well-being, and so much more. Contact us today to learn more on how your small business could be featured on KLEK for as little as $25 per month. Shout out to Letitia Fox Rochelle and Foxy's Fabulous Accessories, an independent paparazzi jewelry consultant. FoxyAsCanBe.com, Foxy's Fabulous Accessories on Facebook, or 870-761-4323. Shout out to Always and Forever Pet Grooming, offering baths, nails, and haircuts for dogs and cats. 2929 South Caraway Road, Jonesboro, 870-520-0925. And now back to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. Welcome back to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. My special guest is Ms. Ebony Star Wilson. (laughs) Uh, She goes by Star on Facebook. Uh, She is the director and creator of Hidden Stars Inc., which is a young ladies mentoring group. And she's really hoping to branch out, you know, to the young man, offer service to the young man. So we're definitely we're putting the word out there today. Yes, (laughs) male mentors to step up and take the lead and be, you know that presence in a young man's life yes that, i need you fellas i <laughs> i also need um uh, some young lady mentors as well um so any any women out there would love to sew into a young lady life like some part one probably sold into yours reach out to me via facebook my number's all over the internet um please reach out to me i can really i can really use you and these young ladies can really use you right and you know if you are part of an organization and you need some service hours this would be a great opportunity yes you know to feel that need a requirement but also to give back to someone you know give back Mm -hmm. what you either had or didn't have but you know is needed in someone a young person's life um so again the meeting times for the groups are every other saturday every other saturday so it usually one to three or three to five um it just depends on if that space is booked that day but it's always every other saturday so between the hours of one and five but i always post it via social media way before the date that i'm going to have it um so it's always all over facebook you know i don't really do snapchat like that but i will start using snapchat and instagram but it'd be all over social media all over facebook so all you gotta do is check my page and it'll be on there trust me (laughs) all right so and you can find hidden stars um well, do you have a Facebook page for Hidden Stars? Yeah, it's Hidden Stars, Inc. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Hidden Stars, Inc. And leave a message. Um, get involved. Just get involved. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Shantae Jones says, hi, classmate. Hey, classmate. <laughs> how are you? He has been trying to make moves and do things down here in Jonesboro um, and also in Central Arkansas. So, shout out to you. <laughs> I be seeing him on Facebook <laughs> like he's moving and grooving. Okay. <laughs> All right, so again, uh, do you have a date for your first meeting? I know it's on Saturdays. Do you have a date for your first meeting coming up? Yes, actually, um, we're going to meet this Saturday. I did. We did have an event last Saturday. Okay. Um, we're going to meet. We used to meet every other Saturday, but I think we're going to meet this Saturday um, at 1 o'clock. Um, at Jonesboro Public Library. It's, that's on Oak Street for y'all that don't know where it is. Um, so we will meet this Saturday from 1 to 3. So feel free to bring your lady, young ladies up there and sign them up. And any male mentors out there who want to run some ideas by me, I would love to have a meeting with you guys 
reach out to me. <laughs> All right, and then that is Saturday, August 24th. And so um, I want to say good morning to Lolita Rainey Warren. Good morning, Miss Lolita. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Thank you for checking in. All right, so again, Hidden Stars Inc. is looking for mentors. And then if you would like to get your young lady signed up, 12, 18. 18 if they're still in high school. Um, yes, that's they can right. Sign up for the program. Now, with your mentors, um, will they work one on one with them, say in person, over the phone? How would that? How would that? Process well, usually, work? I, I would like to assign. If I had enough mentors, right now I don't. So okay. I would like to. If I get enough, I would like to assign a mentee to a mentor. Okay. That's how I would like for it to be. Okay. And then I'll, uh, us also meet collectively that twice a month. But I would like for them to do some one on one interaction, if you know, if, if possibly. I would like it to work out that okay. way. So we're going to just put in the atmosphere and ask God to bless it. <laughs> yes, bless uh, Jesus. That you're going to send you more people than you can handle kids and the door. Okay. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for giving us your time today. Um, do you have any other um, events, though, coming up? Anything planned? I know. Well, I'm just going to kick off the fall season um, with our meetings and everything like that. If For any events, just check out the Hidden Stars, Inc. page. My Star Star Wilson personal page. Um, I did want to give a shout out to my job. I'm a counselor at Stockton Medical Group. We do treat opiate addiction. I'm the counselor there. So if you know anybody who has opiate addiction, um, send them my way. 5510 Southwest Drive, Suite 8. Okay. Thank you. Y'all have a blessed day. All right. I want to thank everyone out there for listening, for supporting Kayla Kay. We could not do what we do without you and this is why we're here to provide this platform yes to share information to the community so please 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 reach out to us reach out to the star or any other organization here in town also um once again shout out to all the educators all the students wherever you are going back to school i hope everyone has a great and have a great school year <laughs> school year please give everyone lifted in prayer uh, there's so much going on around this yes, society is. as a whole so Please keep everyone lifted in prayer and be, look out for your neighbors. You know, take care. Of, let's take care of each other. Let's do that. Let's <laughs> let's spread love, not hate. That's right. No color, no creed. Let's spread love. All right. So with our further ado, that's your show for today. Your community conversation for today. Tune in tomorrow, 9 a.m. Thank you all. Have a blessed day. Thank you.